Once engineers obtain data from a computer simulation, they determine what to change in order to improve the design of their project. In the first simulation, two workers were assigned to the recycling station. In this simulation, four workers are assigned, two at the beginning of the conveyor belt and two towards the end. The male worker in the red shirt closest to the chute on the left is responsible for collecting all recyclable fiber. The female worker opposite him is gathering numbers 1 through 3 plastics. At the other end of the conveyor belt, the female worker collects aluminum and steel, and the male worker sorts numbers 4 through 6 plastics and glass materials. Engineers would design simulations so the speed of the belt remains the same and the same amounts and types of materials are released through the chute to keep those factors constant. Doing so would better allow them to analyze the data from the factor they choose to change. In this case, that factor is the number of workers. Notice when each worker's shirt is yellow. Are some more idle than others? Are there changes that can be made so workers are less idle? Are these four workers idle more often than the two workers in the first simulation? These are some questions engineers would take into consideration when redesigning the process for this station. Do you notice a significant difference in the number of items collected and how many were missed compared to the first simulation? At the end of the hour in this simulation, 4,427 items are collected compared to 2,988 items in the first simulation and only 42 items are missed, compared to 1,474 in the first simulation. While this is a drastic improvement, it is the responsibility of the industrial engineers to analyze the data to determine if the additional materials collected outweighs the cost of adding the two extra workers.